Welcome you to to playing GTA as a little kid. For me, I never played GTA as a little kid. The only game I played when I've been that age was like 2K, WE, or Madden. Now tell me the age that y'all started playing GTA. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell because I'll be posting every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Now cue the intro. <laughs> Towards the, towards the door, door. and I'm uh -huh. sweating. Just be cool. What, what are you sweating for? Bro, what are you sweating for? Ain't no reason for you to be sweating. I ran for my life. I looked to the back, and I see this huge store of security coming straight at me. Now I'm panicking. Run, run, run. 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 Okay. Every kid loves to play Grand Theft Auto. See, unlike most Come on, come on. Come on. Every kid likes to play GTA. Because you get to do whatever you want to do at on GTA. Like, you get to make money. You get to have the cars you want. You get to have the house you want. You get to have the clothes you want. That you really can't have in real life. That's why kids like playing GTA. Would never, never let me play GTA. But but some parents some parents don't like kids playing GTA because you ain't got too much violence and I don't wanna say it. I don't wanna say it. Up in the good old days, where kids had no rights. Your parents tell you to do something, and you do it. No questions asked, period. No arguing back, and you better not dare talk back to your parents. I see yeah, you gotta talk back to die parents. by your parents. Die by your parents. Like, you gotta respect your parents. You can't talk back to your parents. You gotta respect them. You got to respect your parents. I'll be like, Dad, can I have an allowance? Allowance. I allow you to live here. I allow you to eat my food. I allow you to burn up my electricity. I even allow you to breathe in my house. My dad made it look like he was doing us a favor by raising us. See, living in our house came with plenty of rules. First, my brother and I had chores. Failure to do chores was an automatic look. Second, you must be on the AB honor. All right, now, let me see. Doing chores? Not bad. Not bad doing chores. Now, getting good grades? You gotta get good grades. You don't wanna be a bum who, who, who um, fail and they gotta repeat a, a grade or so while all your friends are on a higher grade than you or all your friends are grabbing out of high school and what, what happened? You're still stuck in talk with while all your friends are doing grown up things. Anything below a B was a what for third. If you get in any trouble, and I mean any trouble, you get in B first and ask yeah. for a complaint. Yeah, 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 cause look, look, you go, if you get in trouble, you get in B first. And then you movies, get cursed, no and then you get dopey, and you got a dad, or a mom. My brother and I could and only grandpa falls, and not good for little kids. Like, it got, it got, just who? Who do you? Let me see. Grandpa falls, got sex, got violence, got crime, got things that parents really don't want their kids to do. The parents think the kids gonna fall up the crime and then do what really... Go on on the video game. Jimmy comes over and he's like, Man, guess what's coming out? What? A new GTA, bro. What? I mean, you never played GTA? No. Like I said, anything over PG-13 wasn't allowed in our house. Now, since I didn't want to miss out, I had to find out what all the hype was about. So, I got to the crib, got online, and looked up Grand Theft Auto. Do you look at GTA? You look it up? Yo! Alright. At the same time, I had a few dollars saved up. So you saved you were allowing to, to buy it. And got inside. I got right. to the back of the store and found it. Then I went over to the checkout aisle and gave it to the cashier. He scans the game and he's like, hey, kid, how old are you? No, I didn't know what to say. But I figured I'm gonna go with the safest age. 18? 18, huh? Let me see your ID. Damn. Damn! Bro! You said, you said no, he's gonna say ID. No, 
Lord, no game. Game. Now, game. now it's mission fail. I left the store I left the devastated. Game. I got outside, but right before leaving, an idea came to mind. You still got your money. You just gonna pay for a game. I'ma steal it. So I got back into the store, got to the gaming now, I looked around, made sure nobody was looking. Then I picked up the game and snuck it under my shirt. Okay. No, no, don't, don't, don't tell me you get, you get a step run, a GTA run. Don't tell me you get a GTA, uh, a GTA run. Right before acting, the alarm goes off. Hey, you stop it. Bang, I ran for my life. I looked at it. This is Sparta! Do you have any idea how fast I am? I'm fast as fuck, boy! See, I knew the only way I would be able to play the game was when my parents were out of the house. So I waited until the weekend since my parents work most Saturdays. So fast forward, it's Saturday. So, so you went into a Saturday and you know I'm going to play GTA. So I get the game. Was oh, that PS2? Ain't no way. Oh, I thought I thought I buy a thing. This is awesome. GTA is so cool. I had a ball. I couldn't believe this game. You get to steal cars, shoot at cops, kill people on the streets. You even get to go buy hookers. This was the greatest game ever. Now, since I knew my parents' work schedule, every weekend, I would pull out the game uh -huh. until right before my parents returned from work. Then, I'd hide it until next weekend. But, here's the issue. The more I played, the more comfortable I got. And, and the more you, the more you get in trouble, and the more, the more you forget. Don't, don't, don't tell me you have to forget the schedule. How stupid that is? So the next morning, my mother was deep cleaning the house. She gets to the living room and starts arranging the games. Then she sees GTA. Hmm. How you forget to have the game? How you forget to put the game in the box? Oh my! <laughs> How you forget to put the game back in the box? Oh, oh hell no! Dang! She got the black off you. I'm just waking up. I can barely see it. She's got the black off you. Oh, oh no. That, that's not the type of pain I, I want to be messing with. You're so dead limb thick. So I go, that's Tony's. Tony's? Then why did you have it? He let me borrow it. Get up. Oh, you? Come on. First of all, I lied. Second, I stole the game. And my mom finds out. She's gonna and your mom finds out you did GTA run. Find out you did death and run. Then you can be. Tony, does this belong to you? Now Tony's confused. He doesn't know what to say. So he looks at me. And I'm giving him the help me. So Tony looks dead into my mother's eyes and says, Yeah, it's mine. Now Tony, listen to me. Very carefully. Don't you ever give my son this game again. You got it? Yes, ma'am. So my mother and I leave Tony's house. And I was so happy. I couldn't believe my homie came through for me. My mom and dad would have killed me. So we get back to the crib. A few hours go by and I decided to call Tony. Yo, Tony. Uh, what's up, man? I need my game back. What game? My GTA. Yo, GTA. That's my GTA. <laughs> you know you need that game back. See, see. But this the reason when when you give your friend a game and you and they say oh oh I don't I don't give it back I don't give it back tomorrow I don't give it back tomorrow come tomorrow you never see me see me again then they say oh I, I forgot I I'll pack it up for school and I'm in a rush and I just forgot about the game come the next day they say oh oh I don't give the game back come next day. You won't see him, and he said, "Uh, I'm sorry, but I I had things to do, and I can't I can't uh get the game for you." But a great part, you should never give him the game. Everybody been dogging for GTA. You know what? You know what? At, At least I escaped, escaped the beating of a lifetime. So, moral of the story: What's done in the dark always comes to light. Did you just say? You're not gonna leave there? What are you doing in there? I'm just dropping dollars. Dropping dollars? Yeah. Fine, man. Fine, man. What are you doing? when you catch your eight year old son playing a video game with scripture in it, or.
Oh my god. Julian. What is this? Who are you giving that game? I'm gonna I'm know who gave him that game. What the heck?